So as we look back on our lives, that we understand what that that one day we made the decision to follow Christ. One day we made the decision to make Christ our personal Lord and Savior. And along that way, something or somebody or some places got in our way. And, and sometimes they may have gotten in our way to help us. But, and sometimes, like myself, they may have gotten in our way to trip us up. So we want to deal with those places, people and things that may have gotten in our way and meant to trip us up. Can I get a witness? Amen. I'm here to encourage somebody today, amen, whatever that situation, whatever that thing, whatever that, that person that's in your way, that, that came to stop you, I want you to just, just look back at it. Just think about everything that's in your life, and, and think about, is it good? Matter of fact, stretch that. Think about, is it of God? Because I know that everything good is not of God. Uh, so just think about it. Think about that person that's in your life. Think about that situation, that circumstance, that decision that you have to make when you go home tonight. Think about it. And I'm here to let you know that tonight, amen, it's time to drop it. Can I get a witness? Amen. Can I go a little deeper? Because this is for the young people. It's time for us to drop it like it's hot. Can I get a witness? Amen. And the title of my sermon tonight is Drop It Like It's Hot. Can I get a witness? Amen. Like I said, this is for the young people. So the young people understand what I'm saying when I say drop it like it's hot. Can I get a witness? Amen. Drop it like it's hot. That's what we have to do to situations, to circumstances, to things in our life that will come before Jesus. Can I get a witness? Right. Let's deal with the word drop for a minute. Mm. Amen. Drop. drop. In act of instant dropping. Can I get a witness? Uh -huh. Instant dropping. Instant. Instant. Instant dropping. That's that's the first definition of drop. And I may know that there come places, there come things and people that deserve an instant drop. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. A immediate drop. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness? Yes, uh, I didn't think about it. I didn't wonder about it. I didn't ponder on it. There was an immediate drop. Uh, well, I'm talking to the young people so I can come down to your level because I'm not that old myself. And then I know how hard it is. I know uh, living this Christian life is, 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 is hard. It's not like it was 30, 40 years ago when you woke up and you went to school, you went to church, you came back home. But, but as soon as us young people walk out the door, there is Satan. Can I get a witness? Uh, I'm not here to, to, to place judgment on no young person here. I don't care how your hair is. I don't care how low your pants is. I don't care what kind of shoes you got on. I don't care what's in your pocket. I don't care who you've been texting. Amen. I'm here to talk about Jesus and let you know that what you've done yesterday, amen, is in the past. Can I get a witness? Amen. Because us as young people, we're taking a lot of blame on what's going on today in the world. Can I get a witness? And, and truth be told, the things that we're doing as young people, we learned it from somebody. Uh, who can we learn it from? The, I'm not even going to go there. Amen. Because the young people are taking the blame. Someone get killed on the news. They're blaming it on the young people. Things are going wrong in the world. They're blaming it on the young people. Amen. But how many know that everything that we learned, we learned it from somebody. Maybe it was our mother. Maybe it was our father. But they're quick, amen, to point the blame on us. Can I get a witness? Amen. So we have to learn, amen, once we receive Jesus, that there, that there is going to take, amen, a place. That's going to take a time, amen, for us to realize that there are some things, some places, some things that we do, some places that we go, some people that we even know, amen, that we just have to drop like it's hot. Can I get a witness? And that's the only way that we're going to be successful in Jesus. That's the only way that we're going to be successful in God. And the reason that there's a struggle, the reason that there is hard times, the reason that things are going wrong is because we have accepted Jesus. We are coming to church. We're, we're singing on the choir. We're playing the drums. We're playing the keyboard. But there have not been an immediate drop. Can I get a witness? No, come on now. And then we have not dropped those old friends. We have not drop those old relatives. If we go back to our text, amen, we understand that, that, that Jesus came to these children. Uh -huh. And Jesus said, you know what? Come follow me. Uh -huh. And the Bible says that there was an immediate drop. Can I get a witness? Uh -huh. There was an immediate drop. They did not ponder. They did not look around. They just dropped and left everything. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what did you leave behind? Uh, wait for an answer. Wait for an answer. Wait for an answer. What did you leave behind? Uh, nobody else. Because, because we think that we can accept Jesus and hold on to everybody and hold on to everything and hold on to every place that we used to go. And I come to let you know that it is impossible. 
impossible. Because Jesus is a task all by itself. Trying to live this same life is a task all by itself. So there's no way in the world that you can hold on to this circumstance and also lift your hands up to Jesus. Can I get a witness? Because Jesus really wants us to surrender. Can I get a witness? Jesus wants us with our hands up. And, and the reason that we can't surrender is because we don't want to let go this. We don't want to let go that. We don't want to let go him. We don't want to let go there. So Jesus is saying, I'm going to make it better. I'm going to make your life better. I'm going to change you. And all he's saying is just surrender to me. Can I get a witness? Just look at the word surrender. If we look at the word surrender and we understand surrender, we understand that, that, that if there's a situation and the police tell you sur to surrender, what they want you to do is put your hands up. Amen. And that's what Jesus is saying. And the reason that he's telling you to put your hands up is because he knows once your hand go up, uh, it's no longer holding on to this. It's no longer holding on to that. He knows that once you completely put your hands up, you're going to drop this and you're going to drop that. And the reason that they tell you to put your hands up is because whatever you have. Whatever thing that you may have in your hand, guess what? Once your hands go up, you're going to drop it. Can I get a witness? And that's the same thing that I want to tell you tonight, that whatever you got in your hand, whatever is stopping you from progressing in God, whatever is holding you back, amen, this night, make up in your mind that I'm not going to hold it anymore. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop it like it's hot. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot, neighbor. And the reason I say drop it like it's hot, because Church. Amen. Her church was down the street, amen, from my house. Amen. I used to have to walk to church. Can I get a witness? I remember. 